Hello, I've got a great trick for you today. Circle images are really popular. You'll see them on LinkedIn, you'll see them on your Google profile, your Microsoft Office account. Um, but the problem is when you put, when you want to go make that image, you just upload a normal rectangle or square and it makes the circle image. So as an example, here is my Facebook account. I didn't make that circle image, LinkedIn made that. Uh, also, if I go to my YouTube channel, there is a circle image that YouTube created. Google owns YouTube and Microsoft owns LinkedIn. But occasionally the issue is I want a circle image because they're very popular, but I need to create the circle image. So as an example, I did a web search for webinar announcements. Notice circles, circles circles so that's what i'm saying circle images are really popular so to make the circle image uh, if you have adobe photoshop you can do it i use a program called zara it's very inexpensive you can try it free for one month with no credit card so let me show you a few features it has in it while i make this image so to get an image on here i can either go to file import or I can just drag an image, any picture I want, into Zara. It's going to say, do you want to put the original or do you want me to reduce it? I want the original. Let me just resize that. By the way, there's resize in the bottom right corner. It keeps it in proportion. You want to rotate it. It's in the top right corner. You can rotate a picture. You want to do rounded corners, it's up in the top left corner. It's rounding all the corners, not just the corner up in the top left. So there's rounded corners. But I need to draw a circle because I want a circle image for this, so here I go. So I'm resizing it just so I can see what I'm doing. Here's the issue. I'm going to do a quick circle image. But do you see the wall behind me, the dividers? See the lines up here and the line I'm slowly moving down it right here. Watch what happens. This is going to be a really rough one. Uh, that works. That looks pretty good right there. I know I'm going really fast now. I'm going to slow down and show you in just a second. Here's the issue. That line back there in the back over my uh, left shoulder over here to the right that I'm moving. I want to get rid of that. So let me undo and then I'll show you how to do this. So also in Zara, I'm going to simply double click the image real fast. It jumped to what looks like a camera. It is the Second icon over, it says Magic Erase. I'm going to click it one time. I'm going to click on Continue. And this doesn't have to be an exact. I'm going to just draw real rough. I want to get rid of that uh, divider right there. That looks pretty good. Continue. Up in the toolbar, because I use the Magic Erase tool, I drew what I wanted to get rid of, and I'm going to select Magic Erase. Bye-bye. Great feature when you take a picture, and maybe there is a traffic sign in front of a building. You're like, oh, what a great picture, except we got that no turn on red or something. Get rid of it. There you go. Um, I could get rid of this one up top here, but that wasn't in the circle image, so I'm not worried about it. So here we go. Got an image installed. Go over here to Ellipse Tool. Drag. That looks pretty good. Move it. What's nice is when you're moving this, do you see it lets me see in the background what I'm doing? And that looks all right. Control A is select all. Right click. Combine shapes. Third one over says intersect shapes. There you go. One last step. 
you don't I don't care about that white piece of paper in the background you can see that that is a circle image a circle image is still technically a square or a rectangle in this case is a square which is also a rectangle you need to save this as a PNG file so let's go to file you don't want to save it as JPEG export change it from JPEG if it said JPEG to PNG I'm gonna call it Chris circle test YouTube when I hit export really important right here it is a PNG but sometimes it'll say true color when it's true color do you see in the background the white area you need to make it true color plus alpha so you don't see the white area click on export or you can check the size real quick it's 135 by 135 I'm gonna make it 100 by 100 you make it whatever size you want click on export let's test it I'm gonna go to Microsoft Word I want to put the picture right here I'm going to just drag and drop. There's the image. Shrink it down a little bit. Go and make it. There you go. Here's the test. If I would have made it just PNG or without the alpha, true color, without true color, without alpha, right up here, because like I said, it's a square you would see this white area but it's a white area on a white piece of paper so it doesn't look different now but if I go and change the design and add some color oops no I got blue already I'm gonna make it yellow you don't see that white area right here if I made it just true color and not true color with alpha it would look like this I just pulled Gracie in here so this one's this one I did the circle image, I just didn't save it correctly as true color with alpha. Anyway, I hope that helps. Thank you for your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, give me a comment. I appreciate it. Thank you.